Hey guys, welcome back, and today I have a very quick video, as you probably can tell. This is just a newer version of my How to Count Entities video. I did this before, but uh, 1.14 has a much faster and easier method, so I figured I'd just show it with you guys. I typically just type it in the uh, comments when somebody asks about it, but it happens enough so that I think just a newer video would make sense. Um, anyways, so it's actually pretty simple, so I'm going to go ahead and spawn a bunch of entities. So let's go ahead and do some pigs. Uh, and I'll go over two methods just in case you don't know what I'm referring to when I talk about certain things. So I'm going to make a little hole here and I'm going to put three of these. Then I'm going to make another hole over here and I'm going to put one of these. So there's four pigs. All right, so now let's do a count. So we're going to have a scoreboard called test and it already exists. So let's put test on the sidebar. All right, scoreboard players reset start test. Let's not confuse anybody. All right, so. If we want to count these, we have to do execute store result score, and then let's just do pigs test, then if entity at e type equals pig, and boom, it says four pigs. And then you can check for this with execute if score pigs test matches. Let's say if it matches three or more, then you say uh, three piggies or something, right? So then it'll happen, but then if I kill two of these and then I run the same two commands now there's only two and it won't say anything all right now let me put these back so how about that's one method so we have this command which will be in the description and you can essentially just do this for any um, for any selector so you can change what this is you can do type equals player you can do anything in here and it will just store this amount of that it counted uh, now the other thing would be in an area so let's say you want to just count players in an area you don't want to like include people things in the lobby so then you get the bottom positive coordinates of the area so x equals negative 194 y equals 54 z equals 30 then you get the positive co coordinate which is up here uh, and this is negative 192, 55, 32. So you subtract these two to find the distance between them. And uh, when you subtract these two, I'll write them so that they're right above each other. When you subtract them, you get uh, two for x. This is just absolute value. You get one for y and you get two for z. All right, so then these become your dx, dy, and dz values. So you just fill those up. dx equals 2, dy equals 1, dz equals 2. And this one, this area is easy to tell because it's a 3 by 3. So you just have 1, 2 in the x, 1, 2 in the z, and 1 in the y. So then you fill this, and you go ahead and add that to your selector. And if you do that, it will only count the pigs inside this area. So let's play it. Oh, where did we go wrong? Oh, I have a slash here. All right. So now it just says three, even though there's one over here. So I can put another here. It will still say three. But now when I put one in here, it'll say four. So that kind of bounds into an area. And those are just really the two main use cases of counting entities. Uh, you can add any kind of specification you want here. It could be like near a player. So then you just do like at, at A. And then you go like distance equals dot dot three so that will just count all the pigs near me so it only sees one near me and now it sees six near me um, and now it sees zero near me and now it sees three near me so you can just mess around with that that's just how store result works i have a whole video on store result but anyways that's about it thanks for watching see you in the next time peace